LoRaX is an open source project for hosting many fine-tuned LoRa's on top of a common base model as efficiently and conveniently as possible. LoRa is a technique in machine learning. It stands for low rank adaptation. It is a technique used to improve large language models like GPT without fully retraining them, making these models smarter and more adaptable at a lower cost. Let me give you an example. Imagine a giant complex puzzle, such as large language model, that you want to adjust slightly to fit a new picture. Instead of taking apart and assembling the entire puzzle again, or in other words, retraining the LLM again, LoRa cleverly swaps out just a few pieces, parameters, to match the new image. This method allows updates to be made quickly and efficiently, enhancing the model's abilities or tailoring it to specific tasks without the need for extensive computing resources or time. Essentially, it's a smart, resource-friendly way to keep the model up-to-date and responsive to new information or tasks. So as I mentioned earlier, this LoRaX is an open source project for hosting many fine-tuned LoRa's on top of common base model. Or in more other words, LoRa or LoRa Exchange, X is for Exchange, is a framework that allows users to serve thousands of fine-tuned models on a single GPU, dramatically reducing the cost of serving without compromising on throughput or latency. And there are two components to it. There is a base model, for example, Mistral, Llama, or any other model on Hugging Face. And then you just get a LoRa adapter and then just put it on top of your base model. And then you can have as many adapters as you want. As I said, thousands of adapters on one GPU. So this LoRa exchange is quite scalable. There are a lot of good features around it. And for example, there is a dynamic adapter loading, which includes any fine-tuned LoRa adapter in your request. It will be loaded just in time without blocking concurrent requests. Then it also supports heterogeneous continuous batching, which packs requests for different adapter together into a same batch, keeping latency and throughput nearly constant with the number of concurrent adapters. And then we have asynchronous asynchronous prefetch and offload adapter between GPU and CPU memory with scheduled request patching to optimize the aggregate throughput of the system. And then it also provides optimized inference which enables you to have high throughput and low latency optimization including tensor parallelism, pre-compiled CUDA kernels which includes flash attention, page attention and lot of other things. It's production ready and to top it off to to top it all off, it is free for commercial usage, which means Apache 2 license. So it is really, really amazing stuff. So for example, in a real world use case, let's suppose you have an organization, you just want to have one model, but on top of that model for every your, uh, your use case, let us chat, instruct, summarization or maybe legal data, finance data, you would want to have different LoRa adapters on top of that base model. So what you can do, you can have one server locally, install your base model such as Mistral, Tiny Llama or any other, then get uh, your adapters, LoRa adapters on top of it for every task and then fuse them uh, with your base model by using this LoRa X and then run them. And whenever user will do the inference, this is going to redirect those requests to the proper adapter. How cool is that? So you are saving on resources. You are also having a scalability at massive level. So this is what LoRa X promises in very, very simple words. Okay, enough talk. Let's see how you can install it and how you can use it. I'll be using my trusted Ubuntu server for it. Let me go to Ubuntu. So this is Ubuntu server and you can see that I am running 22.04 in Ubuntu. Let me clear my screen. Another um, thing I want to tell you is that I am using one GPU of 16 GB of VRAM. And for the purpose of this demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Tiny Llama as a base model. And then for the LoRa adapter, I'm just going to go with this uh, tiny llama fine-tuned QLaura from Hugging Face. So let's get started. 
first step let's set our base model so let's go to hugging face just click on this uh, icon this one and i have just copied it let's go back to our ubuntu and here let's set our environment variable as model so export model is equal to this tiny llama press enter and our model is set let's also create a local directory here so i'm just going to call it data so because i'll be using docker for this demo in order to make it easy so make sure that you have docker installed if you're following along and let's create a, a volume for the docker so all i'm going to do is volume and this is my present working directory let's also set the volume here and the reason why i've created this is to share the volume as a weight cache with the container from the local operating system now all you need to do is to run this command so this command is using all of the gpus on your system and then it is setting at the shm size SHM size specifies the shared memory size and it is used in the context of this containers. So this is a parameter in container that specifies the size of your dev SHM partition in the container and dev SHM is used for uh, storing data that needs to be shared between different processes within the same container. So that is what we are using here and we have just specified it to one gig. And then we are specifying the local and the container port and the volume which we have just defined plus we are also getting this laura's latest layer or the image from uh, this repo and then this is our model id so let's run it and you can see that it is loading all the layers from the repo this uh, takes a bit of a time as you can see the size is around under just under 4 gig for this layer So let's wait for it to finish, should not take too long. So it has downloaded all the layers and now you can see that it is loading the base model which we have specified. Let's wait for it to come back. So it is now serving our base model locally let it run here because we haven't started it in the background which is fine let's switch open another uh, shell prompt for the same server and let's try to do the adapter here the first step in order to run the lora adapter on top of this base model by using lora x is to install this lora x client so pip install lora x client and let's wait for it to install there are few dependencies but that is fine you can ignore them for now or if you want you can um, update them but these are not required so which is fine the important thing is that it has installed this lore adapter let me actually make my screen a bit bigger so that you can see the output full because for some reason it is truncating so this is what i was talking about lora x client is successfully installed let me clear my screen here and now let me fire up my python interpreter and then let's first uh, import the lora client let me grab the actual command which is simply from lora x we are importing this client like this that's done let me also specify my uh, local client which as you can see is running on localhost or 0.0, .0 so it depends upon where you are running uh, let me quickly check so yeah so if you can see it is running on a local port and the port is 8080 and make sure that that port is free too so that is done so http and then i'm just going to grab this client that is also done let's also specify some some sort of prompt here maybe i'll just call it in this prompt template um, what is capital of maybe australia simple one and then let's also close this prompt just like we started with it i'll just remove this double quote and then this is the prompt we are specifying as you can see now in order to run the adapter all you need to do is to um, uh, run it with the adapter let me quickly show you the adapter command and 
uh, or maybe I will first show you with the base model command. So base model, all you need to do is to run this command. And this is going to show you um, the response from the base model. So you can see that the base model has responded that Australia is a country and all that stuff. And if you go to the previous screen, there you go. So you can see that where we were running it, it is showing us the inference and what exactly it is doing behind the scene and which extension is being used here. Now go back here. So this is how we do with the base model. And now let me show you how do we do it with the uh, same one with our LoRa adapter. So we already have set our cl uh, client and all that stuff. Now let's specify our adapter ID. So simply go with this. Let's call it adapter ID is equal to this. And let me go to hugging face. And if you remember, I showed you the adapter. Let's see if that adapter works or not. Sometimes it errors out because these are the open source adapters set by the people. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but let's try. So, but the point is that you can create your own adapter. So I have set the adapter ID and now let me use the same prompt with this adapter ID. So let me show you the command quickly. So you can see that I'm using the similar command, but with this adapter IDs additional context. So just press enter here and then if I go to the this one, you can see that it is going to the adapter hub and downloading the adapter and all that stuff from here. And that takes a bit of a time. And now, as, as I was saying, because this adapter doesn't seem uh, the compatible with tiny llama, so it failed, but which is fine. I mean, that is expected. Let's try out uh, another adapter with it to see if it works. So I have found another adapter as you can see and even this adapter is uh, not working. So let me try one last adapter to see if I could find any adapter. So I have tried almost all of the adapters on Hugging Face but none of them are working with uh, Tiny Llama. Maybe that is not compatible or um, so because the Mistral ones work fine. So what I'll do, I'll create another um, adapter for tiny lamb and see if it works if not maybe i'll show you how it works with mistral um, model anyway i have tried out all the um, adapters on hugging face none of them worked so what i'll do i'll create my own adapter and then i will recreate this and show you in another video first i thought of maybe i will just not upload this but i guess it's a good learning so i'll just leave it as is because if you are building your own adapters then this is all you need to do uh, but quite a good project i would say and especially in terms of scalability i am still sure that this is a work in progress because there are few other nuances you might interact around your gpu uh, because it is using docker so there is there might be an issue where some of the packages might not be updated so bear with it let this project also evolve more and get mature more but i think great idea and i one for sure will be using a lot more in the production environments so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you liked it please um, consider subscribing to the channel and yes of course if you know of any qlora adapter for tiny llama please uh, put it in the comments and i'll be very happy to try it out and create another video based on your own adapter and uh, also if you are already subscribed please share the channel among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching